problem we were interested in the, and actually have been interested for many years is to understand how blood vessels in the body repair themselves. Over time, with age, those blood vessels get worn and weary and damaged and there has to be a way to fix them, to repair them. And if you cannot repair them, that leads to many different kinds of diseases, most related to heart disease, stroke, uh, peripheral arterial disease, and uh, other, other bad things. So uh, many years ago, if, if we took a blood vessel and we opened it up and looked inside of it, we would see that the blood vessel is completely coated by an inner lining of cells that are called endothelial cells. And we became very interested in studying how the endothelial cells uh, participated in blood vessel repair and regeneration. And we identified that there are some endothelial cells that actually circulate in the bloodstream and they have very potent blood vessel forming properties. And we call these uh, cells endothelial colony forming cells. One of the things we learned is these are very rare. And so if we were going to try to figure out a way to use these cells in any kind of uh, cell therapy for patients that had a damage to their endothelium, we needed to find a way to get more of these cells. And so that took us uh, into a very modern stem cell biology in a process where you can now take uh, any cell in the human body and you can turn that cell into a pluripotent stem cell by a process called reprogramming. And we're actually able to induce one cell type to turn into another. So we call these induced pluripotent stem cells. And so we're now able to make these cells, but once we make these little uh, stem cells that can divide forever, we have to figure out a way, how can we get these stem cells to turn into the endothelial colony forming cell type of vessel forming uh, cells. And that was the uh, project that this paper uh, discusses in great detail. So we took these induced pluripotent stem cells that we uh, derived in the lab um, and they look, you know, in the culture disc they look like this uh, with the smaller cells and they indefinitely divide and we coax these cells with four factors initially for three days uh, and then in a stepwise manner in next uh, nine days, we change media, we change growth factors, uh, combination and concentration uh, so that we get a stepwise uh, differentiation of the cells and, and we are able to get these ECFC cells or endothelial colony forming cells from iPS cells. So we fully characterize these cells by doing uh, many assays and one of the important assays is uh, to see the ability of these cells to make blood vessels. And these cells that we derived from, uh, from human induced pluripotent stem cell or person in uh, stem cell, they actually form human vessels when implanted them into immunodeficient mice. So they are actually able to form blood vessels in the mouse, human blood vessels in the mouse. So the next thing is to consider is how could we potentially use these cells to help patients with cardiovascular diseases. So we've been working with a, a vascular surgeon here at the School of Medicine named Dr. Michael Murphy. And he sees many patients who have a disease called peripheral arterial disease. And in those patients, we have actually been able to show that the blood vessels that they have in their body and the circulating uh, endothelial colony forming cells we were just talking about 
those cells actually are greatly diminished in these patients and they no longer have the ability to repair their own vessels. So we're excited to, to, to be able to now potentially take a blood sample from a patient with peripheral arterial disease to turn those cells into pluripotent stem cells to actually then use our novel protocol to generate the endothelial colony forming cells and then to potentially consider a clinical trial where we could put these cells back into the areas in which their patients are having blood flow problems to see if these cells could form new blood vessels and improve blood flow into those tissues. So this is the uh, problem we're attempting to solve. This is the approach. This would be a patient-specific, personalized approach where you'd actually be generating their own cells outside of the body that could potentially repair the damaged blood vessels that they have because their own circulating cells are no longer capable of doing so.